Hello, we're on page 111, and we're looking at ex uh, dilations. A dilation shrinks or enlarges a figure proportionally. When the variable in a linear parent function is multiplied by a non-zero number, the slope of the graph changes. When a nonlinear parent function is multiplied by a non-zero number, the function is stretched or compressed vertically. Coefficients greater than 1 cause the graph to be stretched vertically, and coefficients between 0 and 1 cause the graph to be compressed vertically. Describe the dilation of y equals 4x, then graph the function. The graph of y equals 4x is a dilation of the graph y equals x. The slope of the graph of 4x is steeper than the graph of y equals x. Okay, so if you were to graph in red here, I graphed y equals x. I made a table. If x is negative 2, y is negative 2. If x is negative 1, y is negative 1, so on. I made a table, plotted my points, and graphed it. In the blue here, we have y equals 4x. So you can make a table and plot points and graph equations that way. So y equals 4x, so that means y is 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. 4 times negative 1 is negative 4. 4 times 0 is 0. 1 times 4 is 4. And 4 times 2 is 8. So we can plot these points and then compare the graphs. So we have negative 2, negative 8 is right here. Negative 1, negative 4 is here. 0, 0, 1, 4, and 2, 8. So if we look... The graph of y equals 4x is steeper. So you have to explain how the graph is affected. The graph of y equals 4x is steeper. So if it's linear, you just tell me if it's steeper or less steep. Okay, but this one's not linear if you look at our next example, okay? So do 4a and 4b and then resume the video. Describe the dilation in each function, then graph the function. So remember, if the coefficient in front of the um, variable x is greater than 1, it is a vertical stretch. So write vertical stretch okay so 2x squared so if x is negative 2 it's going to be 4 times 2 is 8 it's going to be 1 times 2 is 2 0 times 2 is 0 1 squared is 1 1 2 times 1 is 2 and then 2 squared is 4 4 times 2 is 8 so we plot our points negative 2 8 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Negative 1, 2. Okay, plot your points and then connect your dots. Notice this is a parabola because it is a quadratic function. Okay, it's to the power of 2, so it's going to be a U shape. Next one, the absolute value of a third x. Notice one third is less than one, and that tells us because the coefficient is less than one, it's compressed vertically. So write vertical compression to describe the graph. That's one point. And then make your table. So one third of x. I so you aren't going to be given these values. I chose these specifically because it's going to give me a nice integer. One third of negative six is negative two. Negative one, zero, one. Whoop, it's going to be positive. It's going to be positive because you're taking the absolute value. So it's going to be two, one, zero, one, two. Graph your points. Three, one, six, two. That's how it's going to look.